Hello. Okay, I am super sorry about earlier. Um, we were in the middle of our live feed and it just completely went out. So I was still able to see the chat and people were able to put in their questions. And so if you want to know what I'm actually talking about, um, <clears throat> you can go watch the first half of the video. I kind of explained what strabismus is and ways you can fix it. And then we were just getting started on the Q&A and I was answering people's questions and the video just completely cut out. So I tried to remember all the questions. I actually answered them all and sat there and talked to nobody for 20 minutes. So I'm going to go through and answer those questions so that the people who asked them can have them. So um, one person asked about his son. He had a four-year-old son who had surgery and the eye was still going out a couple times a week. And they asked, is that going to get better with time? And my answer is no. Um, <clears throat> if the eye is going in and out like that, that means the brain isn't really knowing how to use both eyes at the same time. And so it's not going to get better, right? If the eyes already, it's just going to usually get worse. So what happens is it starts out and maybe one eye <clears throat> is going in and out once or twice a week. And then it might start doing it more and more frequently. So it's going to probably get worse unless you fix the brain problem and the brain learns how to use both, both eyes together efficiently. Luckily, like if it's going in and out, that means it's called intermittent and it's way easier to fix. So I would definitely recommend finding vision therapy in that situation. Um, somebody else asked about, will vision therapy work forever? Will the results last forever or am I going to have to keep maintaining these exercises? And definitely it's going to require maintenance. Um, I think of it like a condition like diabetes where maybe like when you first get diagnosed, there's a lot of like guesswork and like figuring it out, like what's going to work, what's not going to work to manage your diabetes. But then at a certain point, it becomes just more of a maintenance, but it never goes away, right? You kind of learn how to work with the insulin and that's, it, it all works out fine. But strabismus is going to be the same. Like there's going to be some intensive like therapy, surgery, all these different things combined. And that's going to be like pretty intense for, you know, a year or two years. And then after, after that, there's still going to be maintenance, but it's going to become more second nature. But yeah, it's you have strabismus. Some people are born with, you know, they're born with diabetes and you were born with strabismus and it's just everyone has something, right? Okay. Um, the next person asked about exercises. They said, do you have pain behind your eyes or headaches after you do exercises? They were kind of saying that that happens to them. I don't remember their exact words. But um, yes, definitely um, after like an intense vision therapy session, I'll get a headache. My side effects are usually more like nausea and like brain confusion. And I, I feel like I can't talk. <laughs> I can't form words into the right sentences. And so I definitely get that. I will say changing the way I eat that is the, one of the biggest differences I notice is I don't get the side effects anymore. Like if my side effects were to 10 before, they're at like a three now. So even if, you know, I have a super intense vision therapy session or exercises are really intense, it, it doesn't last for very long. So um, yes, that definitely happens. Eating healthy and just resting your eyes. Um, you can do palming. So you rub your hands together till they're super warm. And then you just place them over your eyes like so, and you rest your eyes. Um, I can't tell you how powerful this is. So amazing. Um, you relax your eyes. You relax every muscle in your eyes, your face, and you feel everything just kind of like that. And that will take care of a lot of times those headaches behind your eyes. Now, my husband is a headache specialist. He treats headaches and he he definitely does other techniques to help with my headaches too that are coming from like the back of my neck. So that's not going to fix every headache that you have behind your eyes. But if it's related to like when you do your vision therapy exercises, that's going to be more. And if, if there's anybody coming on now, you can keep adding questions and I can answer extra ones. This is just bonus, bonus session. Um, let's see. Oh, another person at, said that they're getting the surgery soon. They're thinking about it. Um, they have exotropia or their eye is going out. And he was wondering 
if you can feel the sutures. So sutures are like the stitches. The way they do the surgery is they cut open the white part of your eye and they like move the muscles around because the muscles attach inside the white part and then they sew it back up. And those stitches dissolve after about a week. So can you feel them? Yeah. I mean, there's so much going on. Like it hurts really bad inside your eyeballs. So um, you can, yeah, it like kind of feels like there's like, it's like almost like a week later, you can feel like there's, it's like there's rocks in your eyes or something and they like become really, really itchy. But it goes away. I don't feel it anymore. I, I've heard of some people that they can feel it, but I don't notice anything. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I, w I was going to I think I'd said in the other video when I answered this question about if you have exotropia, um, the success rates for surgery are about 70%. A lot of times with exotropia, the brain tends to move that eye back out pretty quickly. Um, if your eye is pointing in and you're an adult, it's more likely to stick. I don't know why, like the success rates are just a lot better. So for exotropia, your eyes way out here, um, a lot of times the surgeon is going to overcorrect it. So just be aware of that, that you might be overcorrected. That's what my surgeon did. And it is working. I mean, if you look at my eyes, they're pretty straight. This one goes in just a tad. Um, all right. I think that is, oh no, there's two more questions. So one person asked, how much have I paid for vision therapy? I think it was vision therapy or just paid all together. So the eye surgery, I paid out of pocket about $10,000. My insurance did end up covering it, but I had to pay it first and then they reimbursed me later on. So that was like the cash pay amount. And then um, the, <clears throat> sorry, my camera's bugging me. Okay, we're going to just stop messing with it. <laughs> sorry. Um for vision therapy, you're going to be paying between like $100 and $150 a week per visit. And so usually you go weekly. Some people go bi-weekly. And I've heard it completely depends on your insurance. If you get your insurance through your employer and it's a group plan, you're more likely to have it covered. But I will include a link in the description about, you know, how to get insurance to cover the vision therapy. But yeah, mine didn't. So I'm probably in about $10,000 in vision therapy. Started a farmer's market, sell a lot of cinnamon rolls. And that's how I paid for mine. Um, you can make it happen. If you want to do vision therapy, you can figure it out. Like it is expensive, but you can figure it out. I promise you've got this. Um, okay, I keep saying, um, oh, and then somebody talked about what do I do when, you know, before when my eye turn was more severe, what did I do when people pointed it out? And usually I would just be like, oh, I'm talking to you. I would just kind of correct. I wouldn't be like, oh, you're so rude. I would just help them see like, yes, I'm talking to you in the red shirt. Um, now I, I'm way more, if someone is like, oh, you're, you're not looking at me. I say, actually, no, I just have strabismus. And it's this condition where my eyes don't point the same way, but I'm in vision therapy and it's so cool. And I'm learning to see in 3D. And so I just start talking to people about it. And um, I, I'm, I take it as an opportunity to educate. And no one's ever really been truly mean about it. They just are are confused. It's really confusing. If you've ever talked to somebody with a, an eye turn, it's confusing. Still, like when I run into somebody with an eye turn, I sometimes like have a tendency to look over my shoulder. I try really hard not to because I know how painful that feels as a person with the eye turn. Um, another thing you can do is just look a little bit to the side. So if you're eye goes in, you kind of look a little opposite of the direction that your eye turns. So if your eye goes to the right, either in or out, just look at their left eye when you're talking to them and it's not as noticeable or even just to the side. And then if your eye goes the other direction, either turns in, the right eye turns into the left or your left eye turns out to the left, you just look slightly over and it just makes it so the eye turns not as accentuated and people don't notice it as much because it is confusing to talk to somebody whose eyes aren't both pointed in the same direction. And so if you can do like little things like that, it kind of helps, helps the process out a little bit. Um, okay. That was all the questions that I think people had and I'm not seeing anything else in the Q and A. So, <clears throat> sorry, not the Q and A in the chat. <laughs> get confused between Zoom and YouTube. 
so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the consults that I'm offering. So I have started doing these consults on Zoom that I offer. You can get them through my website if you go to strabismussolutions.com slash consult. And they are so awesome and valuable, if I do say so myself. Um, the people, I've been getting amazing feedback from the people that have been doing them that it's been really helpful. So what it looks like and what you're going to get so you can just kind of understand the logistics is you'll go to my website, you click the sign up now button, and it'll take you to a scheduler where you pick a time and then you fill out a whole survey where you get to put in your your age and your diagnosis and the questions that you have and the goals that you're trying to reach. And then you also put in your zip code. And so you put in all that information and I get that and I spend the next 24 hours researching you. So a lot of times it's things I know, but if it's something that's out of the ordinary, I am doing the research to figure, answer all your questions, and then I'm calling around different offices in your area trying to help find the perfect specialist for your condition. And so I'm asking a lot of different questions to the front desk. Sometimes I can even get to the doctors and talk to them specifically about like what you're going through. And then I give all that information to you over Zoom. So we have just like a 45-minute chat. I answer your questions. I help you understand about like different professionals that can help you. Um, and then you can ask anything and it's just really helpful. I had one person say that they learn more in 45 minutes with me than they'd learned at all of their appointments at an optometrist's office combined and that they were able to find more clarity about why they've been struggling and how they can get better more than they've ever had. And so that is my goal. I am so passionate about strabismus and I love helping people figure out how to overcome it because I know that it's so much more. It's not just how your eyes look. It's like your whole self trying to overcome like the emotional and mental parts as well as the physical. And so I want to help people with that. I want to help them find answers. So if you want to work with me, I would love to help you. Um, and that's just strabismussolutions.com slash consult. And I'm going to add in that link along with a bunch of other links where you can sign up to go to my weekly email where I send out tips that I do about um, every single week. I send out a tip and these can range from anything from like how to get insurance to help cover the cost of you know surgery or vision therapy, or it can cover um, like I, I do a lot of tips on exercises, like how I have success with specific exercises or exercises that are making a difference for me. Because honestly, like this has taken me years and there's a lot of things I could have done differently to speed up the process. And so I'm trying to get that information out to other people so they can have even more success than I'm having because they'll skip past that learning stage in the beginning. So I want to help you become an advocate for yourself and Really take like your vision into your own hands and just and and have success and reach the ultimate vision that you can reach. So I will put all the links in the bottom and I don't think we have any more questions. Not seeing anything pop up here. So I'm gonna sign off. But again, if you wanna the, the first half of the video is just gonna be on my channel. It'll be part one. This is part two. So see you. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.